Humanity has reached this point, with the giants of science leading the way. Soon, an unprecedented in the sky will open a window on the creation of the universe. The Webb Space Telescope will rock it a million miles into the void. The Webb will replace the revolutionary Hubble, allowing us to see through space and time. His theories would spark the scientific revolution and launch mankind on a fantastic voyage of exploration and discovery. He was a Christian monk named Nikolai Copernic. We know him as Nicholas Copernicus. His vision would set the scientific age into motion. Copernicus embodied the phrase Renaissance man, cleric, physician, translator, mathematician, diplomat, jurist, economist, government, and even a warrior. We know the name Copernicus not only by who he is, but because he charted a new course of humanity. Ancient peoples believed that the heavens enclosed the earth. The Greeks conclude that earth is a stationary object around which the planets orbited. Aristotle provided the physics for this understanding. Where Ptolemy created a model of the universe and their wisdom was accepted by Christian dogma and reigned for nearly 2,000 years until one rare event changed all the civilizations in year 1453. The Ottoman Turks conquered Constantinople, the queen of cities and a bastion of Greek culture since the days of Alexander the Great. This caused for the city scholars to flee the west and brought it with them. Ancient knowledge that took root as Europe was coming into a new age in questioning. Greek and Byzantine ideas inspired the Nicene thinkers to challenge, to challenge Aristotle's physics. The thinkers began to use mathematical data in their studies of the stars as astronomers had long struggled to explain what they were seeing, what caused uh, the sun to appear, to travel east to west each day and why did the planet seem to track eastward across the zodiac. Nicholas Copernicus uh, reason that the earth might spin cause the sun's flight and if the earth moved in circle around the sun that would explain why the sun seemed to travel across zodiac in so many in such important way then wrote Copernicus to do planets bear witness to earth mobility. Copernicus idea was not supported by the church and considered it is unseen and crime such challenges. Uh, the church devised the uh, Inquisition for the uh, certain reason. Copernicus kept his theories largely secret until he was 70 years old. His book on the uh, revolution of the Celestial Spheres was not printed until 1548. Uh, uh, the first copy was placed on his hands as Copernicus lay dying. Soon after, European scientists began to embrace his ideas uh, on circular orbits. On 1572, an astronomer named Tycho Brahe uh, seeing a supernova and exploding star and blow his beliefs apart. For, uh, for that reason, uh, the challenge on Copernicus' theory on uh, circular orbit has begun. Many of them challenge each one theory to know who has accurate answer, including T, uh, T. Cobra, uh, who compared who compiled data on Mars and Johannes Kepler who formed his 
first law that uh, planets orbits in the sun in elliptical orbits after seeing a supernova but only Galileo Galilei agreed uh, to the theory of uh, Copernicus after uh, witnessing it himself by his own invention a new marble the uh, spice uh, spy glasses which he improved to increase its lens range the copernican theory that vatican condemned the questioning minds of the renaissance had proven the church wrong about the most basic concept that the earth stood at the center of god however the vatican still scorned copernican theory that it is only offering a mechanistic the vatican is determined to silence galilee and put him on trial a church tri tri uh, tribunal convicted the scientists on the church of grave suspension of heribi that crime was punishable by burning at the stake to escape the flame Galileo partially recanted he was granted and reprieve house arrest for the remaining uh, for the re for the remaining days of his life while being sentenced Galileo muttered yet it moves the church tried to do its way but the copernican revolution had already set fire to the european imagination the world is already changing and there is no turning back on 70, 70th century in england isaac newton would ask what property is earth he applied the latest mathematics show that math was the language of universe and prove the existence of gravity after newton on 20th century albert einstein introduced an entirely new way of understanding gravity space and time he rejected the radical notion that the universe was never expanding by George Allah Mitre Lamita and Jesus Priest. What he imagined is the Genesis like event and read the work of the American astronomer Edwin Hubble that strongly supported Lima Limitoris concept. In public, he proposed the theory and being mocked by an astronomer and called it a Big Bang Theory. In his continuing of research, Hubble later showed the universe to be far larger than anyone imagined and discovering one galaxy, the Milky Way Galaxy. Einstein died in 195 leaving clashing theories about the universe. So we can clearly see how Copernicus literally turned out perspective inside out no longer was the earth at the center of creation. It was said that divine authority had been replaced by experience experiment and observation today's catholic church accepts the finding of copernicus galileo and their uh, colleges largely embracing the science